Hey there, and welcome back to another video. For today, I'll show you guys how you can fix error code 403 on Roblox. So, are you one who keeps running into the Roblox error code 403? It's really quite annoying when all you want to do is spend time in your favorite game. Well, there are a couple of things that we wish to do to solve this error code. The first thing you want to do is to ensure that you're not currently logged in to Roblox at all. If you have the Roblox app downloaded, make sure to quit out of Roblox. To double check this, right click on your taskbar, click on Task Manager, and look under the Processes tab. Scroll down and take your time to make sure that Roblox is not listed there. If it is, feel free to right click on Roblox and then choose the End Task option. So we've ensured that Roblox is currently not running and we're not logged in. Make sure you have admin privileges in your computer for the next step. Now proceed to the search bar and type Run. Open the Run app that appears underneath Best Match. And here we're going to type the following. A percent symbol, app data, another percent symbol, then click enter. This will open a window and go ahead and choose app data and then access the local folder. Scroll down and search for your Roblox folder and delete this folder from your computer. Next, double check if you're using a VPN and make sure that it is disabled. If you wish to double check again, go search for settings in the search bar Open your settings app, go to network and internet, choose VPN and make sure that your VPN is turned off. After completing all these steps, if you're still running into the annoying error, make sure to reinstall Roblox. Feel free to open a web browser and navigate to roblox.com. And then click on any experience to prompt the installation of the Roblox player. You can use this Roblox player executable file to uninstall and reinstall Roblox. Finally, check your firewall settings. Just search for firewall in the search bar, access your firewall and network protection menu, click on allow an app through the firewall, choose change settings, look for the Roblox application and ensure that both private and public boxes are checked, then click OK. If you followed all of these steps, you now should be able to run your Roblox without the annoying error code 403. You can also double check the status of the Roblox service itself by going to status.roblox.com. This website will indicate if any of the Roblox internet services are down. Now that's all the time we have for this video, and I hope that all these steps I've shown you or even one of them have helped you somehow today. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to enjoy more content just like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.